Joining us now is Joe Grimes. He's the CEO of Tribal Rides International Incorporated, XNDA, it's a stock symbol. Joe, it's been a while. Good to see you again. Thanks so much for having me, Don. There's been a lot of news in the rideshare business this week. I want to get your reaction to it. I guess the biggest one is the uh, firing of the Lyft CEO. Yeah, the uh, Lyft CEO and Lyft president are stepping down, um, Logan Green and John Zimmer. Um, it's a challenging marketplace that they're in. I believe that their market, their paradigm is changing and they're not adapting quick enough. Um, what does it mean to travel rise? I think it's huge. I think it's appropriate. And I think it's an opportunity that we're going to try to maximize what we're doing around. Well, we first started talking to a company about self-driving cars being used in rideshare. There's news in that too, isn't there? Yeah. So to give your um, listeners a little bit of background. So in 2014, we applied for some software patents associated with self-driving cars. So for the last nine years, we've been watching it. We've been um, very attentive to the, to the different changes and improvements and progress being made. There's a, a couple of really interesting uh, updates. The first is Bill Gates was in London last week, rode self-driving cars and is amazed at the progress that has been made and the likelihood of it coming to the United States. And I, I think that's all fantastic, right? That's what we've been watching. That's what we've been focused on. Uh, in the interim, we're, we've put together some I, ideal patents for shared rides and driver-specific and rider-specific capabilities that I think they'll really like. Um, the other is Waymo, which is um, a strong mechanical vehicle uh, provider. Waymo has an app out. I encourage your listeners to get it. It's called Waymo.com. And they launched in Arizona. In fact, as I flew into Arizona, they have billboards there that uh, have QR codes where you can download their app. And now last two weeks ago, they announced that they're starting it in Los Angeles. So what I would love to do in the future is get in one of those cars and show you, show you and your, um, investors and, and audience what it's like and that we're right there and we're supporting the drivers in the shared ride market space so that they can transition in that so that you don't have these behemoths taking over what they can do in the marketplace. We've often talked about doing that and of course the idea of self-driving cars being a ride share vehicle when you get home from work you can send your car out to make money for you. Yeah and we've been we've been positioning ourselves and waiting for a long time I think that's huge and we're trying to empower the drivers right now in shared ride environment to do the same as we transition to self-driving car all across our, our platform. Any progress with your company since we last spoke? Yeah, um, uh, we're focused on uh, rolling out the next, what we call 2A of our application. Um, our 10K is being finalized and it'll be out on time April 15th. and how we're doing this year's marketing and the goals will be announced in our 10K. And once it's public, I'd love to come back on your show and uh, share with you more specifics. Well, it's always a pleasure. You know, one of the things that we talk about very often when we have you on the program is people look at self-driving cars as being somewhere in the future. But as you've mentioned, they're here right now. Coming on with the advent of 5G, yeah. It's uh, right around the corner. Scary how quickly it's coming, finally. Stock symbols XNDA, Tribal Rides International Incorporated, Joe Grimes, CEO. Always a pleasure having you on the program. Thank Thanks you so much, John. Appreciate it.